Your choice. Yeah, whatever you guys want to roll, just start with the clap, but we're uh, all set over here. You want me to exactly say, reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new untold story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story overtold? Fuck <laughs> no, baby! It's a new untold story. A new untold story. It's a fresh big untold story. A new untold story, episode three forty-two. Three six eight. Really? Mm-hmm. Counting by threes? Is that what? Three, six nine. Shit. Yeah. Fuck. Damn. It'd be like three six eight on that slob on my knob track. That's what it was. <laughs> Who sings that? <laughs> That's what I'm yeah. saying. Three six. Three they, six. They ate on mafia. That they yeah. ate. Three six eight is an overlay <laughs> area code of the entire province of Alberta. That's boring. I'm not going to cover that. I know we've been on a mayor cold streak. I haven't yeah. the drought. Um, I think if we revert back to the beginning, we would be on two one eight, which is northern Minnesota. I mean, I have a lot to say about that. We can save it or do it now. Um, I think we'll get a spark when we want to talk about north. You have a lot to say on northern Minnesota. Probably, yeah. What do you mean, probably? <laughs> It's either you do or you don't. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, Yeah. you want to wait until there's a moment? Yeah. Um, I've been talking a lot to sales, and they want us to, like, try... They've been trying to sell our segments. So either the news, uh, dickhead of the week, um, mayoral roasts, and they can't do it. And then two sales guys walked in right before we started recording. Yep. (laughs) And they were like, hey, uh, you guys are the only people here right now. Um do you guys know if Barstool Kush is one of ours? <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, no. It's and they, inevitable. They've been getting emails and emails about selling that. Should we be bummed that that's the most successful, profitable thing we've ever done? No, no. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Because <laughs> we work pretty hard on the things we care about. Uh huh. All of the shit that takes utmost creativity. It taps Saps everything. our brain. Yeah. And then I will just Google weed and go to like yeah. the fourth page of Google. And uh, then we that's post Barstool the, that's Barstool Kush. And now that's we we have a what very large sponsor? weed. We have a very just large weed company leaf? that. Yeah. No, they're sending us <laughs> a crate, not a box. They said a crate of I knew it. Of flour. Of weight. And they want to, yes, of weight. And they want us to review it all. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's like a, like one of the boxes that says an Indiana Jones. I, I think Dude. it's like you're going to have to open with a crowbar. Yeah. And it says they caution. Review and, weed. and it's like probably like hidden inside of like lawn gnomes that we have to break open. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so we got, we're going to have to test the product. We're going to have to get phenomenally high for a yeah. joke. Do not, and I got out in front of this because I knew this would happen. Well, but why, man? Is it? A, it's kind of disheartening. What? It's our first oh. successful thing. I, but no, I'm, I'm pumped about it. That's why I fucking <laughs> back on the wagon. Are you back off on the, the wagon? Let's go. What? Yeah, I guess is it on or off? Dude, yeah, I had to. I just had to smoke. Um, when? For work for That's Barstool Kush. Oh, for Barstool Kush. And yeah. I That's just hung up my Hiroshi Nagoi pieces. Which that's a that's a high in itself. Hiroshi, he, he's a Japanese graphic designer. His I don't, art. What what is happening? It is '80s city pop, '80s coastal city pop slash vaporwave. Does he have like the flying planes in the sunset too? Yes, it's a lot of yes. like cool sides. It, Very awesome he, stuff. Like his shit transcends sensations. It it, 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 it gives evokes you a, a comfortable nostalgia, a pseudo nostalgia. It's 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 a pseudo nostalgia. It's a warmth, and I would even say some of it. It, uh, it's not like some of it is a little whimsy. It gives you a yeah, little bit of like something like about it. Sitting in a nook. <sighs> Go look up his shit. No, Rudy, I've, you would love this. I've seen it and now I'm kind of pissed now. Dude, so I got, yeah, I got three of his pieces. Because now I can't. Are we all becoming the same type of person? Yeah, this is bad. Because yeah. I legitimately was going to get one of these so and now I can't. This is a successful put on. Does he get do the planes like flying into the sunset? Got some planes, yeah. some poolside, some like pink houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like eight bit. What pieces do you not quite? It's kind of eight bit. 
I got like the beach side, the standard beach side, the pool side with like the pink hut so you, and the tennis court. Yeah, this one's got hut? a pink beach. It's like a pink square. Pink hut. Yeah, little, yeah, yeah. This one's got a pink beach. Look at that shit. It makes you feel so good. It, and it feels like you've been there. So I'm like, that shit was behind me, but it, looming over my head, but I could what still do you mean see you? it like with above my your soul. bed. Yeah, like <laughs> behind, oh, behind my couch. Shit right so you, here. Could, you, you knew it was behind you, you'd feel it. My task rabbit mounted it, mounted my TV, first TV in three plus years. What's happening, man? Do you have internet? Um, I have internet. What happened? And then I was also watching Dun uh, Donovan McNabb highlights of his MTV Cribs episode. Just Ooh. the highlights of the Cribs uh, episode? Pretty much. And it, it will make you smoke. You got to watch this. Wait, what is it? Can you explain it to me? He's just like, he's talking in like an incoherent mumble whisper and like the background just completely overshadows him with a, like a, a 2000s generic hip hop beat. <laughs> they'll be like and so you saw it like, like i got it he's like hey i'm done with Wait, that sounded like a 1920s ragtime <laughs> <laughs> like, that hey, was hip-hop hey hello what's up donovan nab philadelphia eagles quarterback he, come into my study see my memorabilia and then it's like <laughs> i like when they do the little <laughs> come on my lady come on my daughter <laughs> and they speed it up he does the, yeah. it's like a triple replay he's like and if you know how to play the piano, step right up. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, come up to my palace. And it's just like a, a snowboard highlight edit of his like three shades of brown bed. And he's like, got to keep it sexy. And it pans to like his vomit green candles. Then he goes into his jacuzzi room and he has like one of those like easy bake oven ass TVs. It's so tiny and old. <laughs> He's like, you got to have the cable next to the jacuzzi. <laughs> and I was like, I, it's like always like forward and reversing, it's, right? It's the oldest shit ever. It's like probably 2000. So did you start it like not high and you like paused it and were like, yeah. I have to smoke I was watching this. a bunch of like NFL players. It was like, I got two ovens. I'm Willis <laughs> McGahee. I got two ovens. I don't even need the second. <laughs> <laughs> they're all just like flexing like and you gotta have the flat screen tv you gotta have the <laughs> in the ps2 with the games <laughs> and i was like i gotta smoke dude <laughs> he's wearing this long ass uh jordan shirt with his sleeves down to his uh wrists tucked into big jeans and i was like yeah this is <laughs> i gotta, <laughs> smoke. I gotta it. fucking smoke wait wait, wait. <laughs> so Rudy, trippy. can you play it really quick uh, look at this can we can we show this i doubt yeah. it we can no i'll, I'll put it it's in it's on there. youtube here t turn it up yeah because i want to hear the so i want to hear the this this hip-hop oh it is it's a three shade of brown bed yeah he's like gotta keep it sexy then look at like vomit green candles <laughs> Keeping it sexy. <laughs> you know what one I want? Oh, dude, oh. those are gross. And he's like, and you know you got to have one of these rooms, and it's just a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he's just smirking. It, it'll get you high as fuck. Oh, my God, yeah. You, just, you see the TV above the jacuzzi? <laughs> no, is it tiny? Dude. <laughs> this is... There's nothing comforting about this. Oh, oh. <laughs> He was flexing that. Watch cable after the game. Uh, Watch a what year was this? Like 05? He's like, six? he's whisper mumbling at all. And the audio is so loud. There's nothing cozy about that home. It's, like it's got to be earlier. Uh, earlier than 05? It doesn't say, but it look, based on that TV, that's got to be pre 05. That's so funny. The My Guilty Pleasure one. Have you seen the Yin Yang Twins cribs? No, but I'm sure. <laughs> so that was a rental home, I think. I think that myth got busted. Because it looked like a Fort uh, Lauderdale, like 80 year old couple. I think home. they were in a rental home for theirs. It made yeah. that makes sense because it literally it, it's only like pictures of sailboats and like a, <laughs> it, had, it had nothing to do with them. Yeah, it's so it funny. Yes. Though. The only thing rapper about it was that what they were wearing. Right. And they brought that from home. I'm sure like right. it was just seashells <laughs> and like live, laugh, love signs. <laughs> yeah, I think a couple people got busted, like just renting a place out. for I their cruise. Yeah. Um, the Andy Dick one, I remember that terrified me as a child. I, I, I don't get him at all. 
Is he? I forgot. He's yeah. like a. He's like just like a menace. Right? menace he's a gay pest, right? right? Yeah, I don't gay know. Rapist. I think he's. <laughs> he, I, I, is he a gay rapist? He, I don't know if he ever got in trouble, but he struck me as a child. I remember being like, "This is a." Gay yeah, menace. this guy's. All, I remember seeing him as like a seven year old. Like, yeah, he's a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. His name yeah. is Andy Dude, Dick, that, and he's smirking like a devil. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that was like it's human nature just look at that face and think rapist yeah. you know who I as thought, a child you know who else mm-hmm. i thought about with that and i was way off mr rogers no man no he's pure as pure could be i was terrified yeah. of mr rogers that horrifying statue in pittsburgh it looks like it's made of like pressed chewing gum is he from pittsburgh yeah yeah that adds up um that's a good high vibe um halloween's past uh rudy we didn't see you kyle had a really good costume he was like were you a gay chimney sweep with a little a swag? Gay chimney sweep. Yeah, is that what it was? <laughs> well, I was a like, gay. I don't know. I thought that's what it was. You were a freaking gay. <laughs> I thought that's what you were, man. No, it was just a- the chest was open. It was an open chest. Yeah, you had a real <laughs> to, to reveal the the soot. Right. I thought it was. There's only so many acceptable skin tone. The, the soot was revealed. Were you worried too. about the soot image leaking? Yeah, that's why I was like, why the fuck? Like TJ, you're the boy, but like, why would you take that pick? He's, you see a sooty boy. Nah, I don't blame him. I, I told <laughs> if him you I saw me all sooty, that. what would you have done? I would have taken a pic. <laughs> yeah. Send it, yeah, send it around. <laughs> um, you did a cute couple's costume, though. It wasn't a couple's costume. You guys were a couple when you came to the party together. Okay. You were a classic combo of a chimney sweep and a watermelon Jolly Rancher. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah. We both had what we wanted on. We both <laughs> doing what we loved. Did you guys what did you want me to come as? A, a red tongue? <laughs> a slippery throat? <laughs> what costume would go dude, with that? Dude, a, a Jolly Rancher and a slippery throat is the cutest <laughs> couple's slippery costume. Slippery throat? I can think of. <laughs> yeah, Damn, Kyle, that's a good ass slippery. Th- but it, like that would work too. Like, like if my you guys- body's an esophagus and my head's all wet and red. <laughs> dude and the thing is if you guys got split up like people would still know what you are yeah oh you must be a slippery throat where's your where's your girl they wouldn't even know um (laughs) um what was i gonna say i fucking forget about your slippery i was i was apt too i had something good to bring up forget slippery throat red tongue (laughs) redder tongue halloween Mm -mm. now i'm out so so no, I forget. And it was good, too. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Damn. Uh, You're going to have to take the reins. Parlays? No, no, wait. Mook was a menace on Halloween. Yo, a menace. Chill on me, boy. Yeah, chill yeah. on me, boy. So I didn't get to see the the highlights, I guess. He was a pretty normal dude. I had people visiting from out of town. The first yeah. thing Mook did, he walked up to him. And they said, what are you? And he said, you're not going to like me if I tell you. <laughs> Mook, what the fuck does that mean? Well, Nick told me not to tell them. Oh, he was. You, how are you going to explain a pie cream god. pie god? I, I was the cream pie god. That, you're right. Yeah, that is creepy. Well, creepy. Yes, dude. Yeah, because you were. Because <laughs> then you were like, I'm the cream pie god. And they're like, what? And you're like, I fill pussies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, think said, that's how that works. That's what you were telling people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you were just Jesus with a, a redder wig. Yeah, I was uh, Christ Spice. As someone put it, that's way no better than was. what you thought. Everybody, th- no, you you were mad that people didn't think you were Ice Spice. You thought people would assume Ice Spice. Look at you. Look I, at your complexion. <laughs> I wasn't like mad, but I was people, like, you, you, people were assuming Annie, and you were getting offended. I, I didn't calculate how the wig would look. It was the first time taking it out at the party, and it was a bad. It was a bad costume. It was a bad costume for sure. But I felt, you know, you I, said you felt more more com- confident, more comfortable. Yeah, I think I'm going to start dressing up more, just in general. Yeah, I get that. Like, when we started rediscovering America, I was, like, af- afraid of my own shadow when we were wearing something goofy. And then and now reversed. I just don't give a fuck. Now yeah. you give less of a fuck in a costume. Yep. Yeah, dude, start wearing a costume. Rudy does every day. <laughs> <laughs> Dress as a hunter today. You can see my jacket. Yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah, he came up. Yeah, you. What's tomorrow? Do deep sea fishermen tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do deep sea fishermen tomorrow. I wanted a piece of gum. I wanted to go as Jack Sparrow, um, but it was all out at the store. So I had to go as a piece of gum again, run it back. Oh, that's what you were? Yeah, dude. What was your costume? I was all pink and I tied a shoe on my head. Oh, shit. 
I didn't even realize. It's a good ass yeah, cause, but is, I want to be Jack good. Sparrow. People so kept people asking you if you were a sneakerhead, though. People were coming oh, up to me at the bar and they're like, "What are you?" And I'm, I just like, <laughs> I want to be Jack Sparrow, but it was gone. But uh, that's what you would say. Yeah, that's what I would say. Then just walk away. I thought what? you meant Jack's comma Sparrow. That's what I thought you were gonna do. What the fuck is that? His bird. He didn't have a sparrow. No, but then you would be it. That's, That's not I, a thing. Jack, That's, that seems like com- something you would there do. There still wouldn't be a comma there. Apostrophe. Wait, is Jack Sparrow a... Pl- well. Are you saying like a play on words? No. That's I wanted I to be the pirate. pirate. Yeah. Uh, That's what I thought he was thought, doing. What was the play on words? That, that he was were... going to be Jack's possessive sparrow. Like he was going to be Jack's bird. That's what I thought he was going to say. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that would have been sick. That would have been really cool. No, I went as a piece of gum. Nobody knew what I was. Is that not how a comma works? Oh. No. Fuck. Apostrophe. Yeah, you were saying comma? I don't know how com- I've never learned how commas work. They just—it seems like they're just randomly placed. No, a lot of people don't, but we know that's not what it's supposed to do. N- now I do. I, I don't, honestly, th- I don't get semicolons, but I threw I throw some in casual texts to people. Don't be texting a semicolon. I do. I've, I've realized I I've known I'm a dickhead, but things have come to light that like good. <laughs> Good. I'm sorry, man. I've been waiting for this. Yeah, <laughs> I need to, go. I need to chill Public. out. Yeah. He's been preying on this. Yeah. yeah, I'm a dickhead, a real monster. Oh, shit. That's all right. Um, no, but Mook was a menace this weekend. Yeah, people keep saying this. In what way? So I had guests visiting, right? And an Uber yeah. was coming. It was here, and one uh, one of them was a girl, and she was like, "I have to pee." <laughs> And she ran in like the Uber was here, and you know I have really bad Uber anxiety, and I'm like, "Come on, like, get there." And yeah. Mook is trying to like diffuse the situation so she goes to pee and mook what did you yell to her as soon as she went to the bathroom i just screamed i can't wait to hear you piss <laughs> oh my god dude <laughs> that's borderline like that's, criminal yep yeah that's, no no that's some, no. That's some yeah, anti dick shit yeah, yeah. yeah that's menace shit for sure no that's like philly dickhead shit like you should <laughs> see how i talk to like my girlfriends at home like that's like endearing like can't wait to hear you take a piss did like she a laugh piss. her ass off yeah, it was funny. <laughs> what? There's a woman. How'd you know she a laughed her in, ass There's off. a woman in the booth right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephanie. Yeah, Who, Steph- Stephanie is wincing right now. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that line? This is a, this <laughs> Wait, is like a first you... within 24 hours of meeting. This is within three, three hours. hours. I yeah, I remember. Say it's like my favorite thing. <laughs> off the bat. But yeah. acceptable. I mean, now I know Connor for way longer than just 24 hours, so it would be funny. If he said, I can't yeah. wait to hear you piss. I would probably follow up with, don't follow me to the bathroom then. <laughs> we did not, I did not follow her to the bathroom. We were waiting outside the we door. We were right outside the door. <laughs> and then if you, like, so my thing is, like, if I'm going to meet new people... I, I'd uh, rather at a bathroom. Yeah, we're we outside were, of a bathroom. So we're all waiting apartment. to leave oh, Nick's okay, apartment, yeah. and we're about to walk out the door. The bathroom's right next to the door. So I'm like, she's walking to the bathroom. I'm like, all right, can't wait to hear you take a piss, like that kind of thing. Like it wasn't like me. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. He, yeah, he that's made fine. up for it though with the smoothest move I've ever seen all time at a bar. Okay, I cooked. So you're at I a, cooked. He cooked. Well, I I didn't. Is cook, this like but. a co-ed bar? Sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we left the all boys bar. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mook. Co ed bar. Co ed bar and intramural. He went up to one of the he went up to one of the co eds and uh what did you do? So I was planning on leaving the bar, probably Wait, first before you say this, are you a cold approach guy? Yes. You are. Yeah, yeah I like doing uh like like here, like I want to go back to the cream pie god thing. Like if I'm gonna meet new people and make an impression on people, I'd rather come in hot. Then just be like, oh, I'm Connor. What do you do? You yeah. Know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 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 it. it oh, I'm Connor. Oh, don't <laughs> walks right up to people. That's his first line. Oh, I'm Connor. Oh, I'm Connor. Yeah, Ooh, I'm Connor. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah that's the alternative. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds. I'm Connor. What do you do? <laughs> that sounds like some, that sounds oh. like ew, dude. The only person that could do that would be like Usher. Dude, there is an, an extreme. <laughs> Ooh, I'm Usher. <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah, Usher could do that. Usher is the only one. Um, Ooh, I'm Connor. There's a, such a middle ground to that, but go on. Yeah, so I, I was in a silly, goofy mood after all that, and I, I pl- so we're at the bar, we're at the co-ed bar, and uh, I made my mind up probably five minutes before I made this move that I'm going home soon. So I, I open Uber Eats. And for people at home, you're horny at the time, right? Sure. 
fine. All right. So yeah, when you're super horny at a night out, are you like sexually charged or is more of like a brain chemical saying, I want to, I want to just be around girls and then I'll get horny. Uh, I'm more of like, I'm ready to go home. Let's see if I can make a play happen. If not, I'll get food and be fine. Ooh, I'm Connor and I'm horny. Ooh, ooh, I'm, I'm Connor. Connor. Ooh, I'm Kyle. <laughs> Ow, oh, yeah, that works. Yeah. That, that hits. <laughs> what do you do? I'm going to go, wow, I'm Nick. <laughs> wow, I'm Nick. <laughs> Okay. Fuck, I'm Rudy. Oh, dude, that was cool. Uh, That's cool. Yeah. I, bet, I bet you that was like your first Twitter handle. Fuck, Fuck I'm Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> you look like that was. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, fuck, I'm Rudy. Oh, yeah. fuck, it's Rudy. Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's, it's Rudy, Rudy J. <laughs> it's Rudy J. Uh, but Mook, I still haven't heard, we haven't heard it, right? Yeah, yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, so I'm crafting the Uber Eats order. I'm about to press send on it and then call my Uber home. And I just flash the phone to the girl next to me and go, what do you want? With the app oh, open. Ooh, I kind of love pretty that. Pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah. That's great. Stephanie? <laughs> you rang? <laughs> uh, oh, did you hear? Yes, I did. Well, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty like, good move. Pretty I think solid. it's like How? ridiculous enough it, where it can be played off as just a joke. Sure. But also like the risk reward is there. There's no risk, I don't think. There's right. zero risk. Yeah. Put I, people on to that. Unless it's, <laughs> unless, it's, <laughs> um, unless it's a really big girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she can't even be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the risk. Could, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I know you're starving. I know you're looking. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're getting hungry just by being around me ordering food. <laughs> I, I do like that though. Yeah, it's like a it's like a last second, like I'm leaving the bar, I got nothing to lose. Uh I'm already ordering food. I'm already gonna be a piece of shit. Why not just, you know, take a shot? Hey, you hungry? I love that move. And how did it go? Failed. But not embarrassingly. Not right? embarrassingly. Did no, again, laugh? it was a, it was like funny. She, she was brought like, up that she loved that move. And she said a couple more drinks a little bit later, I would have. Oh, that's a win. Yeah, duh. I think that counts as a body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She also, like, it was a thing where she took the phone and started scrolling. So it was like. Oh, that's a successful play. It's yeah. also an body. in to talk to a girl. That's a notch on the post. I would. Yeah, you should go out and just do that all night. I, I've. Honestly, I, I've like kind of done that before, but like not really. Like that was the smoothest it's ever played. My, out. Yeah, that's better than my old move of just tag teaming a, a arm limbo. What? Get what? one of your boys do an arm limbo and just have people play limbo. So that's you, a solid you got, play. You boys would just put your arms out and have people limbo. You just, yeah, you just two arms. You go up to people and just gesture, "Hey, go do the limbo," and it it turns into a fun night. You know really? who else does yeah. that? Middle schoolers. No. Yeah, uh, yeah they, they do. That's right. You're just describing Red Rover. It always hits, though. I everyone's, believe that. Everyone's, everyone's that like gathering hits? around doing doing the limbo. Dude, you, when you are out at a bar, do you know the extent of like excitement you actually have? You're just talking. Yeah. Going out to the bar is just talking. I uh, I you never know, had a move. People don't really dance. I don't have a move either. I would put a little smear of paint on my cheek and just be like, I just need to get back to my canvas. <laughs> That's pretty oh, good. You see that's this? Pretty oh, good. that's so that's pretty good. I never had a move. I don't have a move. Yeah, you do. It, I do not. KB, it is just talking, but there's also the excitement of, hey, who are we going to meet? What kind of girls right. can we talk to? But How can like, we talk to them? You're so drunk. You think you're partying. You're just talking to your friends and you'll maybe talk to someone else. And you're talking loudly. There is nothing else. You're drinking and talking. Yeah. And you, maybe you'll go to a new bar and that's like the exciting thing. Are we allowed to talk about the boo-boo I made with your friend you brought to Donnie's party? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought he was in costume. <laughs> and that, that was my worry. Yeah, you didn't tell me. I almost you know me. That. I yeah. He was seek presenting from below the head as well. I think <laughs> yes, from below the, yes. the hat. <laughs> I was this. I close. think you didn't have to. Yeah, it was. I was this close to walking up and go. No way. <laughs> I was, you know the people that were at that party, and you didn't give any warning. You can't bring a Sikh man to a Halloween party and not say that he's just a Sikh. Okay, well, I wasn't worried about you, and I was, it was more so the entirety of the party. I didn't know. I'm not going to send out a warning. Like, Yo, I'm, I'm bringing, <laughs> you can't bring a, a non-white person. You can't person. bring a turbaned friend. <laughs> the first time you bring a turbaned friend somewhere can't be a costume party. 
<laughs> that's that so fucked up. <laughs> That was, yeah, is for my that's, first that's, time bringing him out. <laughs> <laughs> I got a turban friend. A menace, let's confuse yeah. him by bringing him to, let's confuse my other friends by bringing him to a costume Wait, party. I also yeah. saw Kyle roll out of the Uber with that guy and I was like, what's going on? Yeah. Are you, you guys jolly tread rancher? lightly? Well, we're, we're in a diverse city. Yes. But you can't bring, you've never had a turbaned friend. Uh, if I knew you had the turbaned friend, fair. You, you're the fair. first time you don't, you bring him somewhere isn't a costume party. I don't know how to, if I can agree with that. It, it it's it's confusing. So there, the protocol should be warning the entire party, like, "Hey, uh, I'm bringing a Muslim dude." He wasn't even. <laughs> <laughs> that seems that way is worse. Absurd. <laughs> that is absurd. No, but like, he wasn't in any other costume. If he was wearing a turban and had like a Crayola crayon shirt on, I'd be like, "That's <laughs> he, a well, yeah, he wasn't. That's in, a Sikh he, crayon. That is." <laughs> You're right. He wasn't in costume. Um, so yeah, I should have sent out a fucking Amber <laughs> alert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing a non-costume Muslim to the party. Yeah, I should, yeah, I should have. T- or I should have arrived, turned off the music, got on a loud, spe- got on a microphone, and just announced, "Yeah, okay." <laughs> I was about to try. It. Everyone remain calm. Yeah. No, because like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I. It could have gotten it could have gotten worse. If you were Harry Potter, I would have thought he was Quirrell. You know, I could have yeah. been bad. Yeah. Oh well. Are we allowed to talk about this? Because you. Wait, yes. What did you say to oh, him? Oh yeah, we already you, talked about it. I, I went up and I just was like, I thought he would. It doesn't matter. He was a chill dude. He was a chill yeah, ass he was dude. Super cool. He was hammered too. But he was. He, was uh, he had his wits about him. Yeah, he was yeah. a cool guy. Thank you. Sikhs don't kill any animals, right? I don't kill. They like. I don't refuse. kill any animals. Sorry for either. having other friends outside of the I'm, office. I'm, I'm cool. No, but it's I'm just down with them. Yeah. I know you have other friends, but it's either it's crazy that it's either just like wrestlers looking for a fight or drunk Sikhs. I had another one. What? My boy Mike. Uh, he won trivia at our trivia oh, so custom boy? trivia show. He's my boy, and he on November 10th he's having a big close pregame. He said, bring your, wear your biggest fit. <laughs> oh, fuck. You got, yeah. And you guys are invited. Yeah, I'll go. You want to go to the big clothes pregame? Yeah. Yeah. Super into that. I'm there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's like, don't bring, no, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, don't today's bring episode. Donovan McNabb. <laughs> don't bring Donovan <laughs> In 2001. <McNabb. laughs> yeah. Like, that's what he always wears. Oh, nice big clothes. What? That would be the <laughs> same exact thing that you did. Right. It's very, very similar. Uh, <laughs> Uh, today's episode is brought to you by game time we love game time last minute tickets flash deals zone deals um you could uh you know i actually just bought 10 tickets off game time for huh you're a game you're going to yes i'm very the excited. legends of hoops the legends of basketball tournament in cleveland ohio uh, we're gonna see west virginia play ohio state yeah and lose lose Probably, by a lot yeah i got a kevin pitt snoggle jersey for the occasion. oh perfect Stitched off ebay I think I probably bought it from Kevin himself. Uh, Game time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event. Uh, even after an, an hour after it starts, it's the place to find last minute seats. Uh, with zone deals, you pick the section. Game time picks the seats for an average of 18% savings. And Game time guarantees you'll always have the best price. You find tickets in the same section for a row for less. Game time will credit you 110% of the difference. That's insane. Uh, take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account. Use code UNTOLD for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account. Redeem code UNTOLD for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets. Lowest price guaranteed. And Mook, are you are you going to Raleigh? Yes, I am going to Raleigh with Sass. Thursday yeah. with Sass. Yeah. I think my sister is going to that show. Oh, hell yeah. Do, a, do an impression of my sister meeting Sass. <laughs> an impression of your sister meeting Sass? Yeah. So I'm basically doing a sass. Hey, I'm KB's sister. Sass, great to meet you. Hey, thanks for coming. That's pretty good. That's about it. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's pretty no, good. No eye contact. Yeah. No, he'll, he'll, he'll be receptive to your sister for sure. Um, big shout out to uh, Mello Biafra. Biafra. Every time he takes a shit. He sends me a picture of his Grievard, the the ghost type Pokemon dog. Oh, it's his legs, and then the dog. What is? Let of, me see it. What is? Is the shit visible? 
No, no. Oh. The one he, he sends it to me every day at his work shit. This was the one today. Just him in his bathroom stall. Big shout That's out to good. him. I yeah, love I love him. getting stuff like that. Um, KB, what's on your uh, sweatshirt? Well, that's a mean piece. Uh, it's like a smiley face wearing a Ravens headband. Uh, <laughs> where, did you, where did you get that? Well, what's it say at the bottom? It says I love the I love those Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good sweatshirt. Though. Yeah, I placed a future on them. Really? No, how's your yeah, how's your gambling, gambling is? Oh my god, I would pay to be able to place parlays. You do. You do. You do. I'm saying I would pay a fee to be able to put one in. To pay. You do. You do. I would pay a fee, an entry fee, to get into a website to then be able to okay. put a part left. Oh, we got a guy for you. <laughs> StuFinder.com. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's one of that sh Yeah. Really? Do you like I'm winning or do you like crafting them? What do you- what I like is? the whole process yeah. of crafting, waking up. Say on a Sunday, getting my coffee and me looking at all the options, crafting these crazy parlays. Do you know ball? No, but I'm learn. That's what it's helping me watch football and learn a lot. Do you like football? And I like watching football now, and I get very excited. Like I'll, if I'm three, if I'm two for three on an anytime touchdown parlay, I'm looking at menus. I'm looking at steakhouse menus. <laughs> I'm looking at Michael Jordan's steakhouse in particular. If you're two for and I'm three. Seeing I'm seeing the 23 layer chocolate cake. Mines as an appetizer. I get that. The as an appetizer? The Wagyu Big Mike Burger. Mines. Medium, medium rare. Yo. Like one of my teas. Vintage. Talk to him. Uh, Talk to him. Yeah. Dude. Talk to him. The, the fucking filet mignon Oscar style. <laughs> and meanwhile, the two for three I hit on are, I got Christian McGaffrey and Tyree Kill. And now, <laughs> now I just need Raheem Blackshear to come off the bench, <laughs> come off the third spot and rush one in for the Panthers and I'm $2,000. <laughs> uh, yeah. So have you hit your golden bag yet? No. Um, and it's I'm losing so much that I'm realizing how just incredibly lucky I was in yes, the beginning when yes. I was hitting all those Dude, big yeah. ones. You went five for five on first touch. Now it's just impossible. So I was with you Saturday and we were watching college football and you try to bet on college football. That's a mistake. You just can't predict that shit. And like the craziest things will happen in a matter of seconds. I wouldn't recommend college. All right. So do you have any picks for the listeners this week? I didn't look at the board yet. See just a I Sunday got. morning kind of thing? You're uh, off of it? Yep. Deleted the apps. Wait, KB, you hit like uh, you hit Cam Akers. Yeah, but that was, but what what did I lose? <laughs> what did I lose on? <laughs> Everything. Are you still up, career? No, I'm finally I finally lost it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Very cool. <laughs> finally lost. Dude, I've it been all. hitting on parlays like a. I uh, detox from football. Went to the aquarium instead. I all saw, day. Yeah, he went to the piss side, the piss atrium. Yeah, they have a piss exhibit. No, it was algae, but everybody was just like gathered around. It's their new exhibit, mm. and it just looks like piss. How was it? They have a giant sea lion with the worst cataracts I've ever seen. It made me so sad, dude. That is sad. Yeah. I like sea lions. Yeah. Um, they have beluga whales. They're they have whales? Belugas. What? Uh, yeah, it is the coolest. You guys have to go. They have some of the biggest tanks I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. I like aquariums. I think a beluga would be sweet. Yeah, their heads are like, so their head. Yeah. the top of their heads have like a titty. Yeah. A white titty. Yeah. Mm. And it's pretty cool. Um, dolphins, it's, it's, you guys have to go. Otters? Yeah, I can get into that. Yeah, they have otters. They got it all. I don't fuck with otters. Oh, never mind. No, they don't have otters. Necrophiliacs. They, yeah. I heard that. Yeah. Um, creatures of the sea oh, love man. to get what's theirs mm. by any means. And otters possible. are the worst offenders. Uh, dolphins masturbate, dude. I think they'll bite off the heads of fish and use them as like a fleshlight. Dolphins yeah. are in, they're getting masturbated by scientists in yeah. scandalous situations. Yeah. Yeah. You, you did the research yeah. on that. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what you want to tell us about Northern Minnesota? Rudy, you should know what I think. I mean, I'm going to give my big stamp of approval on Northern Minnesota, but I think that's a popular consensus. What are some cities that I We're know? talking is about Duluth? Duluth. People are pretty heavy on Duluth. They're high on Duluth. I've been to Duluth, yeah. Um, it's beautiful, I guess. It's 
cute, I guess. I've only been there in the ass crack of winter. So. Lots of recreation. Um, Duluth hockey team is a powerhouse, Division One. Mm -hmm. Yep. Their mayor, I looked her up. She is in a gape ass broad. Like what? A gape, <laughs> a, a gape ass? Mouth open like a Waffle House. <laughs> Is her mouth always yeah. open? Always open. Nothing more to say. She looks nice. Um, <laughs> but she like every picture, she's like smiling again. Smiley like the morning show. Yeah. Yeah. Regrettably, he's correct. Let's see. Oh, she, is it always like that? Picture. I found her Facebook page. No Instagram. Hey, you got to get your local mayor on Instagram because a lot of them just don't have it. I can't review them. It would be. I mean, if you want the vote of the youth. Yeah. Get them on it. Uh, Duluth. Bemidji. Has a Division One hockey team. Mm -hmm. Bemidji State. Um, yep. The Boundary Waters Canoe Area in the extreme northeast. This is one of the only places in the contiguous U.S. where you can experience absolute, unadulterated, natural silence. No human sounds. No human created sounds. What? No cars. That in the Ho River Valley in Washington pure silence and to get even deeper if you want to actually experience total silence that's impossible in nature but you can get it in an anechoic chamber and the only one that exists is in minneapolis at the old field laboratory and i heard it is quite the experience it'll change your life i think i'd freak out they say it's very very jarring for the first 15 or so I, can't you like hear the blood going like you your hear body? your you, then you start to hear your organs but they say it's very therapeutic. Would so, you do it? Would love to do it. I have yeah. tinnitus. You would hear that, yeah. That sucks. I think it's a it's a move. I might go do it. Yeah. You should. Yeah, I've seen Thank videos you. about that. How place. far is the drive? Apparently it drives a lot of people Minneapolis. crazy. Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah. Like it, some people like can't handle it for more than five minutes. No, that and right. like any like uh sensory, sensory deprivation. Yeah. We live in a loud ass world, especially us city boys. Mm -hmm. And they say that's bad for your, not just your ears, but your heart. Heart? <laughs> yeah, it, it increases stress. You might not notice it, but but it's, it, we all should go seek silence. But there's pros and cons to city life because I think one city block has the same emissions as one house. I think right, cities are yeah. greener. Well, they then, are. Uh, I New think York City is actually scientifically the lowest carbon footprint of like any major city. The most carbon? The, the least. least. For the amount of people. Because it's so condensed. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess there's huh. pros and cons. I got to get a car so we can get out of the city. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That I have to get a car? Yeah. You get a car, we take some road trips. Get, a, love, mini, get a minivan. I want I want a camp. Yes. I could fuck around with some camping. Yeah, we got a camp. All I right. Can, I'll, I'll get a car by winter. Shit. We'll go camp and we'll go. Uh, we'll do some stuff there. Wait, do you guys like silence? Yeah, man. Yeah, it's cool. I go home to the suburbs and I like get scared. Really? Yeah, more scared than being in the city. No, man. I think it's more relaxing. <sighs> yeah, you do. You're a born and raised city boy, though. Yeah, but at the same time, I, I need to hear like the sounds of like other things happening, or I'm like, oh, I'm by myself. That's and I'm in the same get in the same vein that you need to uh, look at your smartphone throughout the entire day or j jack off your dick like you don't you don't actually need to you that's just so habitual for you. <laughs> we're jack off those aren't necessarily healthy things to do but you just feel the need to do that are you anti-porno yes why yes why because mm. it's horrible for you like with like um you like like addiction or like how you think i think it's bad for are. your sex drive yeah to just get horny at the flick of a wrist or like a <laughs> literally flick of a button and uh -oh. see. yeah you are, you are too i'm not a porno guy yeah yeah gone are the days no rudy's a porno guy guilty I don't. I, I, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not I judging there's... you at all <laughs> <laughs> were you a porno guy i did i didn't I've never understood I, like the guys that like, I grew owned, up. <laughs> what? Look, when I grew up, <laughs> we're the same age, man. Yeah. We're all the same we, age. Yeah, in the <laughs> same place. <laughs> Bro, we, we, we had the same Think exact upbringing. The era that I grew up in. Kyle, was I, I yes. I'm thinking of yes. yes we were everything porno. from we were my porno birth boy. to now has been the same exact path <laughs> as yours. <laughs> and we, yeah, we were no porno diversion. Boys. Jesus. We grew up in the dawn of, well, the golden age of porn was the 80s, I think. 
but that was like you got to go out and be active porn was an event yeah, yeah. Was more porn was event. not a lazy man's game you had to right. hunt and gather <laughs> that shit yeah. but like right. we still had to hunt and gather porn is easy oh now. we we talk about this a lot but like the psp process <laughs> changed was, the game but that was a process it yes. was a process, that was like an orientation for a job wait i missed that that it, was like a beating off watching porn on the PSP. PSP. it was like having to get excel certified like yeah you had to go through right. multiple steps yeah, it was it was tough, and you had to like wiggle the little joystick. It was what was ahead of its time. It wasn't Safari. How did you get on the internet on a PSP? I think it was called Explorer, something no, like Internet. It, was, it might have been Internet Explorer. PS, I don't know what PS. But just had. loading that was took forever, and the orientation of the screen, you couldn't Every flip pitch, it. Yeah, um, I was a iTouch guy. That was my first run. iPod Touch. Yeah. In the process, in the fact that we had to work for it, made it made our child bust so much better. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I miss. It was so much more of a reward that we had to earn. Dude, I think my first twenty busts were better than my next thousand. <laughs> yeah, combined. Yes, yes. Yep. Do you- Undoubtedly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I gone are the like when you're when you're busting, you don't know it's <laughs> yeah, you one of those times was your last boy bust. Yeah. <laughs> so, Wait, I, I like how he said our child busts. Like you were out of body. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So much more rewarding. Uh, and also, this Saturday, I will be Chicago. I will be at Wish Fest. Oh, yeah. It is a concert. It is also a charitable cause. Yeah, it's a really good event. Natasha Bedingfield. Natasha Bedingfield, Randy Hauser, The Plain White Tees, American Authors in Low Cash. It'll be an all-day event. Come out, buy a ticket. You know, listen to the Tasha. Gummy KB. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I'd love to see the plain white tees. No, it's not just me. It's a bunch of Barstool people will be there. That's it's an right. event. And I'll be in Columbus, Ohio for a high yeah, event. Yeah, with Rico. With Rico Bosco. And I will be in Boulder with Tommy uh, Smokes. You're fucking, yeah, you're, so your tour continues. At the sophomore. How is your piss feeling? My piss? Yeah, does it burn? No, oh, it's smooth. You are in off awesome. Frictionless. Yeah. You were in Austin, Texas. Wait, yeah, Tommy Austin Smokes Prime. got a hickey there. You went, yeah. Tommy, Tommy Smokes got, got a hickey. hickey. Yep, that was went, funny. I don't. I've never gotten a hickey, and that's not. I'm not issuing a challenge. Lame. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to come off that way, but I have never. I don't even know what it would feel like. But it's too late now. No, it's kind of embarrassing. But yes. uh, it's even more embarrassing is trying to give one and not succeeding. Were you not good at giving hickeys? <laughs> Couldn't just just suck in for a, a while and not. You didn't have the no lung mark, capacity for that's pretty weak. <laughs> Was, are you talking about yourself? Would you try to mix in a bite so it would have some redness? Not to myself. I tried no, to give like, a hit, yeah, and it just didn't work. Didn't I don't think I can give one. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's I've never gotten one. You don't think you can give one? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on immediately. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> What, what, um, Austin, uh, every, people rave about it. Yeah. You were a little skeptical. I've heard would... mixed reviews. I was skeptical about it because it's yeah. like one of those things where it's so popular now. I feel like it's good for like an annoying 24 year old. Exactly. And so, but then I went and I mean, it was Halloween, which sort of buffs any city a few points. Yeah. It, it was incredible. Yeah. It was incredible. Like the, the bar scene, the bar scene was cool because they, every bar, has like an indoor outdoor element which is cool yeah like that and then they are all like retrofitted from like something previous right so it's a hip artsy community right or did they all get pushed out and now is it i think it is i think that that's oh a lot of hot people a lot of gay people uh it was halloween so i couldn't tell but gay southern people are just like straight new yorkers yes right yeah but yeah there's a lot a lot of like, like a, a, a gay Southern chicks. person would go to Brooklyn to go to Williamsburg and see the straightest guy in Williamsburg and call him a slur. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, ha- the, I've had that yeah. happen. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, but yeah, no, it, I got to say it was pretty sick. It was just so fucking hot, dude. It was like 85, 90 so degrees. That's, you got to think like that's for how many months, six months of just too much heat. Yeah. And you were in full bunny costume, right? I was in a full bunny costume. Yeah. Which, uh, we, I just had to get something pink. The first costume I got, something got lost in translation. It was for a three-year-old. So I had to order another one. What got was, lost in translation? 
it was my, just the words. My right? English, right. yeah, my, yeah, that, <laughs> got lost. Yeah. In, yeah. Yes, literally lost in the translation. But Austin, Austin was uh, super cool. It, uh, I was worried it was going to be like Nashville. Just, That's what I would think a little bit. And it, there Nashville. was elements of it, but then we found sort of you got you can't go to like the most popular area. You got to go to like the popular area that's adjacent to the popular area. That's where right. like the cool bars are. And that's where mm -hmm. we ended up. That was super fun. I got nothing but good things to say about Austin. I could see it in my future, honestly. They're saying is keep Austin weird. Is it has it been I kept that was weird? Portland? Oh, but I did they see that too. Yeah. I did see that they graffitied on the walls and stuff. Yeah. So maybe both are trying. <coughs> yeah. Is it pretty? Uh, the university is very pretty. They did a really good job with the architecture of like keeping it deserty. Like uh, all the buildings are made out of like this like sand brick kind. I don't even know what yeah. else. Like it's like uh, everything's stone, which was cool. The burnt orange is fire. It, it was. It's. I wouldn't know. It's not, not like pretty. there's no like elevation or pretty um, ponds or. Lakes. There's a river that goes through the town that's actually pretty. Uh, but it's just uh one of those places where. The Texans are good at making sure you know exactly where you are at all yeah. times. Whereas like in Denver, I don't know if they really know their identity. Denver, you Not get a lot of, you get a lot of mixed messages about like Who are we are, cowboys? Yeah. Are we podcasters? Ravers. Like what I are didn't, we ravers? Are we yeah, tech guys? I don't like, what think I'd we? like Denver. But you're going um, back home to Boulder. Boulder is I consider Boulder much better than say Denver. Boulder is awesome. Boulder is awesome. Boulder's rad. Uh I th I'm of the belief that Denver's a little overrated. Whoa. Yes. Man. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm about to go there. Boys, I'm sorry I have no energy today. It's early. It's yeah, early. We're early. recording early. Uh, we have to make room because we are going to get Mookie a haircut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to say where this shop is. I don't know if you can. I don't think it's a shop. I don't think it has it a location. A location. <laughs> <laughs> we found a nomad. We did find a nomad. You found nomadic a nomad. I did, I did find a nomadic barber, yes. It's perfect. Yes. And a pop-up shop. I have a I have a kind of idea of what he is. And you said there's always lines of people, right? Get to get their hair cut. Yes. The temperature dropping has, I think, hurt his numbers. But is it like a guy that's cutting hair for the refugees that were dropped off here? That's you my see worry. Them. You see that's them a lot. Worry. You see yeah. them a lot. That's, that's what I'm thinking. So we're gonna have Mook in line. <laughs> Yeah, an Irish refugee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to pitch that yeah. to get lined Escape up. Escape 2023 Dublin <laughs> on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll film from the car. And this is supposed to be the put on. We're putting you on. Yeah. We're making to a refugee end. hairdresser. Refugee barber. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're gonna, what are we going to put you on a great, like, you know what I mean? Like Floyd's. Have That's you ever gone to a refugee barber before, Mook? No. Then you you put him on to getting tipped and he'll, this would be win-win. Okay. Tip him righteous. Mm-hmm. One more sponsor, boys. We have hella sponsors today and a brand new one. The Boston Beer Company. What? What? Beer? So this is not just... Oh, a bottle of beer, a can of beer. No, but guess who owns? Guess place. who? This is a parent company of the people that are sponsoring us. Boys, we got Twisted Tea. Finally. Yes. Yes. Kyle and I had Twisted Tea every single day, all day over COVID. <laughs> they're, they're so good. They're yeah. so good. We would we were staying at your aunt's without Internet. Just Twisted Teas. Tw <laughs> that was sad. Yeah. But yeah. They man. were good. That they was were so good. Uh yeah, Twisted Tea is a refreshing hard iced tea made with real brewed tea and 5% alcohol. It tastes like real iced tea because it's made with real brewed tea. Real brewed tea with a kick, 5% alcohol. It's full of flavor. Very refreshing. I had a Twisted Tea this past weekend, the peach. I've tried the peach. It's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. It goes down smooth, no carbonation. It makes it easy to drink all day long. It goes well with football season. Uh, it fits well with our extreme fandoms. Broncos, Steelers, and Jets. Phil, uh, the Philly in there. And Reed, are you a Pats fan? Reed's a Pats fan. I got to give him guff. Remind me to give him guff. Uh, yeah, we'll give you guff after the ad. Uh, Twisted Tea is the perfect alcohol beverage for game day, whether tailgating in the parking lot, watching at a bar, watching with friends at home. Twisted Tea is there to turn up your game day. Grab a refreshing Twisted Tea today. Go to twistedtea.com slash locations to find some near you. Thanks, Twisted Tea. That's exciting.
That yeah, is, it's mm-hmm. awesome. What a what a drink. What a drink. Oh, uh, what's the guff you need to give? Oh, just like re being a Pats fan, like fuck, not not your year, huh? <laughs> like a noogie. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, do noogies hurt? I know. They bother. They irk. They irk. Yeah, like getting flicked. It's. Uh, would you rather get a, wi- uh, get a poked, wet willy or a wet? Oh or a, no, or a noogie. Wet willy is like the most irksome thing. I thought yeah. noogies were just existent to mess up hair. I didn't know they were meant to like so cause that, pain. Yeah, not pain. I think just their extreme frustration. Extreme frustration. Like resentment. It's also the psychological damage because it's it's like so yeah. demeaning to noogie somebody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably it's psychological damage. Yeah, you know we had a little kick of when we were kids. Is I used I I brought this first. I was the first person to do this in my friend group. Not I'm not saying I'm the first person to probably do this ever. I used to reverse wet willy my friends. You would, huh? You would put you their put your ear, ear canal your ear on, on their finger. wet. Fi- I would put my finger in my ear and then try to put it in their mouth. Ew! Oh, yeah. Fuck you! Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's what that means. That's yeah. a dark time. Wait, you put your wet finger in your yeah, ear? Yeah, your dry, a, no, dry, dry finger. finger in my ear. Is it cruddy? Or? You don't know. Yeah, it could just be. <laughs> it depends on how pissed you are. <laughs> if you really cruddy. dig and load that puppy up like a Ew. That's Ew. fucked. That's yeah. so fucked. That's so way fucked. worse. So fucked. You probably gotta earn that mouth though, because people aren't just walking around like the mayor of Duluth. <laughs> <It's>, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they typically wouldn't land, but it's the fear that I like that game. I yeah. like that game a lot. I'd be pissed if that happened to me. Yeah. Pissed off. Yeah, it puts the fear of God into people for sure. I don't like that at all. It's a good response though to a wet willy. If you get wet willy, then you in turn obviously reverse, reverse wet willy. It, reverse you remix it on them. What's what what's what's a, the opposite of wet willy? A dry. What's the opposite name of willy? William? No, that's uh, the same name. <laughs> <laughs> you confused opposite with the same. I did. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> this one's hard cuz I don't think it's measurable. Willy. Well, my dad's name's Will and my mom's name's Tracy. I think it's so dry. The opposite of my dad is my mom. Okay, yeah. So oh, it could be a, dr- a dry Tracy. Ugh. A dry Tracy plays though. I feel yeah, like that, I think that, a dry that... Tracy is what it would be now. Yeah. Dry Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do dry Tracys. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a a question for KB. What's yeah. more euphoric, the first sip of alcohol or waking up on Sunday morning and placing your bets in a coffee shop? Um, For me now, it's the the bets by far. It's wrong. I saw you off a Long Island this weekend. Uh, and yeah, you yeah. were having the time of your life after one Long Island. Every single one sip, sip, you were singing it. Long Island iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> Every single drink. <laughs> that's one of those drinks that's more of like, an, like a, a, a game. <laughs> it's so fun. Yes. Those things are in a bomb. It's every alcohol in a splash. Yeah, I don't even Coke, think it's right? good, but it, yeah, you gotta have fun with it. You gotta have. You fun. gotta have fun with it. So you gotta Long sing the Island Ice Tea. So how many? How many? How many songs does it take for you to finish your drink? How many Long Island Ice Tea melodies? I, I was going slow. Yeah, because you said it a good, lot. Yeah. You got an album or an LP? Yeah, now and probably an album. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And albums are EPs, right? I don't know. I think an EP is a. Oh, I think an LP is an album, and an EP is a shorter like one. A four, a shorter four hits. Yeah, oh, that always confused me. Hmm. Guess sense. we'll never know. What else we have going on? Kyle, you're due for a dumb purchase. Dude, I'm putting like. Nine leg parlay. <laughs> yeah, Raheem yeah. Blackshear has to score a <laughs> touchdown. That's a dumb purchase. <laughs> Wait, how many touches does Raheem Blackshear have? I think he's like the third string Panthers running back. <laughs> he's the running back for the Panthers. He's 5'9, 190. <laughs> That's why. We got to put some Raheem Blackshear parlays. And I think if we get the word out, it'll subliminally like. All right, let's look at that. Yeah. The um, Panthers to give him some touch. He, uh, he has eight carries this year for 23 yards. <laughs> we no TDs. His longest run is nine yards. Okay. He's due. He's so due. He All right. Due. I'm going to let's put a Raheem parlay. Raheem Mostert and Blackshear to get an anytime <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> is there any more Raheems you can think of? Um, I was going to say uh, Wu-Tang Clan, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mostert. Okay, we'll do. Let's do a Mar, uh, Raheem parlay. Yeah. 
I'm in. Uh, any housekeeping, Mookie? Uh, I have one note on Perth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one, that was historic, like we wanted it to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the only... I oh, a quadriplegic in Perth reached out to be your tour guide. Yeah. Yep. That happened. So that's yeah, what that's we, I, ag I agreed for you. Now, Perth is known for its mountainous terrain and hiking, but he will be taking you around. So I'm sure you'll check out he, the um, parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> How did he pose that to you? Yeah, he, he DM me. He's like, hey, man, I'm a quadriplegic listener in Perth. <laughs> and I set back perfect. And he said, let me take Mook around. I said, oh, yeah. Yeah. There and you he, go. Reached out, he reached out to you, right, Mook? He did not yet. No. Okay. Anything? How did like your family, parents, mom, how did they react? Uh, my mom said, I'm not going. <laughs> Why? But I'm going to go. It's not um, dangerous, is it? It yeah. looks beautiful. I'm just getting a lot of people that are hitting me up with like advice. Okay. And is a lot of people saying that I'm going to get DVT. DVT. Which is vagina. vascular thrombosis. Deep uh, vein thrombosis. Vein. <laughs> What is that? What is it? It's uh, basically blood clots you get from being in an airplane too long. Like, oh. like sitting Hold like on. that. Let's look up DVT. Can't you get socks risk. for that? Yeah, I think you can get socks. Yeah, and what's, yeah, what's the worst? Dude, yeah, you're not going to be worried about a disease that can be cured with socks. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm pumped for Perth, though. Good. DVT chances. Uh, I think you just got to walk around a little bit. Are there any other developments? Are you preparing at all? Are you? I'm keeping a running list of all the ideas we have of what I can do in 30 hours. A flight of more than four hours, your chance of getting DVT is one in 6,000. So multiply that by... All right, so let's do this math. Your flight eight. is 30 hours. And so what is... Can somebody... How would we do that math? Eight times four is 32. So we're... Yeah, wait, you're the math guy. What are your chances of getting DVT? So if it's one in 6,000 on a four-hour flight, yeah. what's a 30-hour flight's chances? Four, seven and a half, yeah. 6,000 divide it, divided by seven-ish. Did you? Did I just hear 48 in there? You have a 48%? That's, that's fine. I have like a... No. Oh, God. It would be... Oh, this is We're going to get clowned for this. Yeah, this I'm would not, be like... This. this would be around the 1% range if I'm... I, that's, that's what I just came out to, 1.25. But okay. I, I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's right. Well, I mean, we take that risk yeah. every time that's we get like, into yeah, a Every car. time I bet on black shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a yeah. black shear's chance. Dude, if if black shear hits while Mook is in the air, we gotta pray for him. <laughs> we gotta pray for Mook. Yep. <laughs> Why do you pick him? I just I, I don't actually pick him, but I I think you have. Along the lines of Nobody knows who Raheem Blackshear is unless they've picked him. I picked him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh what else with Perth Mook? Uh, your your dad has your dad said anything? Uh no. Okay. No, so I'll admit anything. it. What I was nervous because I thought you were deeply upset. I thought he was we upset revealed. too. And I guess you were. So uh, I explained it to you like this. Like it was like a wave of like, are they actually appreciating me to being like, oh, they're sending me to Australia. They are. Then to me taking an extra like 10 minutes for it to click in my head of like, oh, I'm going to be flying the entire time. This isn't, you know what I mean? It was just like right. a wave of like me figuring it out. I guess happening. in our heads, we expected you to immediately realize how fucked up that was. Yeah. So there was no moment where you were like, oh, felt appreciated by us. That's what really threw way. me for a loop. <laughs> no, I, you had me like on the ride of like, oh shit. Holy shit, guys. Thank you. And that like hit me like a gut. Punch. Yeah. I was like, yeah. fuck. <laughs> honestly, man, honestly, man, you flipped it on us pretty well. Yeah. yeah I didn't like, flip it on purpose. I guess Mook wins this round. I thought it was going to be like a knee jerk, like I'm pranked. Oh, fuck, you got me. But it was a much slower burn. Yeah. And in turn made me feel like a colossal <laughs> asshole. Dude, I left like feeling so bad. Yeah. And uh, no. me and Kyle talked afterwards and we were just like, that was worst case scenario. He was like, yeah. really excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I was pumped. I'm, I'm still pumped. I mean, I don't care if it's like, you know, I'm down for the journey. Um I don't, I, if this is my job, it's my job. So what I whatever offered, the coaches want, I will do. I'll put me in the game, ready to make a play. Here's what I'm willing to do. You push your return flight. 
you stay there for four days wow. and I'll go with you. I'm, Holy shit. I'm in. We're going to Perth. <sighs> We're going to Perth. Can I, I, I'll go too. Hey! <laughs> We're all going to Perth. Rudy, Rudy I don't want to be left out. Yeah, you am going to Perth. Perth. Rudy's going to Perth. We're all Perth. going to Perth. We're all going to Perth. Steph, Steph, thing. Steph come to Perth. Steph, come to Perth. Steph, come to Perth. It's okay. We got time. We'll convince her. All right. We so do have time. We, we have a, we just have, enough time. We have just enough time. Wait, now I'm actually really think about it. All right. We'll yeah. all go to Perth for four days. Okay. Let's do it. Fuck. Yeah. It'll be the ride yeah. of our lives. Yeah. I at least we'll have each other. I'll bring some board games on the flight. <laughs> the guy, that Thank usually God. goes well. So, Mook, you can come see us in the front of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that is a step. We'll be in the front. <laughs> That's why. No way. Those those are insane. There's like yeah, 19 excited. fronts, though. There's I think the like, first yeah, there's like couple there's, hours. Will the be plane legendary. is like 90 percent front. Yeah. So that's good. All right. Yeah. Anything else, boys? That's it. That's all I got. You know, until the story. Uh, God bless. Sweet. Sweet.